Finland getting the return pass is Pelton at center ice. He works to the line. He's with Lepinen, number 22. Pelton cutting in front of that. He shoots. He scores. Lepinen going in, and he went to the front of goaltender Bob Dupuy and just rammed it by him, and Finland has taken a one to nothing lead. Pelton and showing speed coming. It's a two-on-two -two situation. He goes outside Johnny Spring to his backhand, comes to his forehand. He didn't seem to have much room. A very good shot going to the far side. Here he's going outside Spring. Cuts, gets that leg in front, shoots from a, a very bad angle. But Dupuis thought that he had it cut off, but he had a little room. It actually hit the post and dropped behind the Canadian goaltender. So Belton gets his first goal of the tournament. He has racked up three assists so far. Curry, Curry giving it right back over the line for Macatello, and his shot is blocked by Team Canada, Kevin Maxwell. Over to the far side for O'Malley out at center ice. Here's Barry coming down over the line along with McLean. Barry getting to the backhand. He's being harassed in there by Stuart Amy. Now behind the net. Trying to work it in front is McLean. McLean takes a quick shot. He scores! Oh, what a move as he completely throws the goaltender, Yama Bozidan. That's one of the things that Paul McLean does very, very well. He's a big fella. He's got strength, and when he starts walking out of the corner, he won't throw it blind in front of the net. He walks out of the corner. Here we see him put the move. He seems to be in the possible angle. Walks out. It seems to hit the finished goaltender just under his glove hand and drop behind. But he, he just has that courage to walk out in front, hits the inside of the glove and drops behind him. Canada back in the game with one. Just nine seconds left now in the penalty. And 15 seconds remaining in the period. At center ice. Hockerlin, a long lead pass. Lebanon going in. He shoots. He scores. And Finland with the penalty just expired has taken a 2-1 to one lead. Well, the Finnish player just uh, broke in between the two defenders. It was even questionable whether he was onside or not. We're going to get another look at it. But Finland going ahead 2-1 on the power play just as the penalty was ending with nine seconds remaining. Here's the long pass. Just taking the puck over the blue line while well, you look for yourself whether it was offside. Very close, but just breaking between the two defenders. There's the pass again. Just taking it at the line, moving between. Takes the shot, beating Bob Dupuy, and Finland goes ahead 2-1. to one. And Barry gets it to the boards in the corner now, and he is checked on the play by Starr. And now it's out in front of the net again. That was blocked by the goaltender alertly with Barry parked right in front. Now it's down to Dupuy, and he fans on it. incredible goal I have seen in hockey anywhere. Well, a goal like that really hurts, and I'm sure Bob Dupuy feels very, very badly about that. A little mix-up in communications. The stick went right over top of the puck, moving inside, inside their own zone. The two defensemen are rushing it back. Donnie Spring coming. Here you see Donnie Spring trying to lock off as Tim Waters was going to get the puck. Stick goes right over top of it twice as the puck slides in behind Bob Dupuy. Waters, by reaching around behind the goaltender, I think lifted Dupuis' stick as he was trying to hook it, and it just oh so slowly oozed over that line. Now here comes Canada once again. Imar shooting, and a great save there as Canada came right back. Very put a lot of pressure on, again at the beginning of the third period, but coming up empty handed as far as goals is concerned. Face off outside the blue line. seconds left in the power play as the puck is cleared down the ice. Dupuy leaving it for Spring. Spring behind his own net as Canada changes on the fly. Out there is Devaney. Spring coming out. Spring at center ice. Spring to the line. Spring stick handling away from a couple of checks has to go back with the puck. Now to walk to uh, Greg and he had trouble controlling it. Loses the puck. The puck is right in front of the net and Greg has to make a check as he came across. Ice. Now in front there's a shot he scores. Canada and Finland is pulled into a four to two lead. It all got messed up at the blue line as Greg had trouble with the puck and then as you
you see Spring get tied up as well. Greg came across, but he's out of position, and look what happens. The defenseman it was who moved right in, even though they were shorthanded, the two forwards doing a good job controlling it for Finland. The little spinorama throwing it in front. We have the defenseman standing all by himself, just off the edge of the circle, shooting a good shot at that point, but a tough blow for Team Canada. At 16.55, Canada still has the manpower advantage. Over the line they come now, trying to circle that defense was Hindmarks. He goes in against the boards in the corner. Now out in front, here's a chance for Canada. Rose is a shot. Oh, it scores! Canada has scored, and they've narrowed it again. 11 seconds remaining in the penalty, and Canada has scored, and it's 4 to 3. Lauren Davis in the foreground is from the face off Waters. He moves up. Waters over the line. He's bumped in against the boards, controls it, and they'll pin it in right at the blue line. And another face off, 41 seconds left. And looking up at the clock there, John Devaney. There's a backup goaltender, Paul Fajo. Devaney taking the draw. And again, he wins it. Devaney's over the line, shooting it into the corner now. They'll all pile in there. Primo in to get it. Primo trying to get a man in front. Buck rolls into the corner now. Heinmarch goes in. Now we've got a five on four situation as the two players penalized earlier are back on the ice. We've got 25 seconds left in the game. Out to Devaney. Devaney coming to the line now. Devaney's over the line. Tries to get it to Heinmarch. It rolls in front. All players come bring in front. Close puck. A backhand shot. It rolls in front. They shoot it. Crank away at it. Everybody's down. Nine seconds left. No goal. Oh, my goodness. Well, you can't come any closer than that. Everybody just went to the net trying to shovel it under Balcon and underneath everybody. And Team Canada has got to free out at this point with nine seconds remaining. But with nine seconds, it's still a pretty good play because with nine seconds, the chances of them winning the draw and being able. Here we see everybody going to the net. John Devaney trying to split the defense. Kenny Berry just couldn't get what tried to spin around, shovel the shot in. Everybody just goes to that. Oh, what a glorious opportunity Kevin Primo had to shovel that puck under. You see Lindgren blow his whistle and roll if the puck is killed at this point. But nine seconds remaining in the hockey game. Well, Canada will play six men across the line for this faceoff. So it'll be six skaters against four. The net is empty. There you see it. And I'm sure Danny Delvis, uh, who has been uh, Team Canada's best percentage man on the draw, he's coming out to take that draw at this point in the hockey game. He's been our best man throughout the year, being about 70%. He's taking this all-important draw with nine seconds remaining. Look at the area in front of the net. Here's the faceoff. Front and front. There's a shot. It's blocked into the defense, and it's fired down the ice. We've got four seconds left. This will be the hockey game. There's no way they'll get it into the net. There's the horn. Canada loses this hockey game. But what a gallant effort by Team Canada. They were stoned by a goaltender. I think that's probably what you have to do in quickly summarizing that third period. Well, in the third period, Canada threw everything at the finished team but the kitchen sink. They had all kinds of manpower advantage. The, the shots on goal, a definite advantage uh, in, the, in the hockey game, but a little too late to try and tie up the hockey game. I think one of the most important statistics in this third period will be the shots on goal. And here they come. 